what's up you guys welcome back today's update for bitcoin we are trading at twenty two thousand nine hundred and seventy dollars 24 hour volume we are up 9.55 percent market cap we are up 1.99 percent so heading over to the chart here on our daily chart we can see we bounced really nicely on our 20 ma but most importantly very exciting to see in a four hour time frame however what we can see is that the trend itself may be ending more of a bearish turn here and we may actually find more more support in our retracement levels going into immediate short term for four hours what we actually saw from our last update we found really good support right here at the twenty two thousand five hundred and eight dollars i was anticipating that the price was going to come back up to the 20 ma and then retrace after but we got a huge surge but you will notice right here that the volume itself really stayed very minimal it didn't have an increase that we see on the actual bar itself we only traded 343 trades in this four hour time frame, which is a little bit of concerning of the actual person or the actual concern is, you know, the impulse right from this area of support. But what actually is really nice to see on a daily chart is us continuing to make a lot of lower highs in this current uptrend. So going back again to the four hour time frame, what we can measure is the current um, trend itself. We can see already our volume indicator shows that we are currently in the area of supply and demand. And if we are going to be moving away from this area of the price, the next price that we're going to look for, the price is going to want to go up to is $23,347. Going into immediate short term for three hours here, we see that the surge of the price, as soon as it found really nice support here on our 38% of our FIB, $22,760. This is going to be a known area for support if price does want to react and get rejected down. Notice on the three hour time frame when I zoom in here, we're we're actually right near the 20 MA, which is going to be really crucial if we want the price to work in our favor to come back up to that targeted price on a four hour time frame. Going immediate short term for three hours, what we can ultimately see again is a crossover of our RSI signifying that we are considered to be oversold and that there is a possible buying opportunity. However, when we look at our MACD indicator, we can see that the price really made a nice comeback and didn't cross over at an area known support. So again, if price is going to be rejected at any point and we're going to come back down around the 23% of our FIB, or sorry, 38% of our FIB, and it crosses over on our MACD, that is going to be a signal that the price is going to actually get rejected and slice right through that area of support. So where price is most likely, again, going to come back to is we're going to reference the four-hour time frame again, with that nice area of supply and demand. We are close to the outskirts of this area, so this is going to be a known resistance. If we have enough momentum and notice that the RSI is considered to be oversold right now at 22%, we need to wait for the D line to, or sorry, the K line to come back and cross over near this area of our RSI, which is the 20% to signal that it is considered to be oversold. And a lot of people may want to attempt to buy into it, giving us a surge to break through this resistance line. Now we're going to take a look at one week because we want to take a look at, you know, it's a good point here um, to look at more of a bigger time frame. So one week here, what we can see is that we reacted to the bottom of the Bollinger Band. We reacted here, we reacted here, but the price is going sideways. If price is continuously going sideways, this is going to be a continuation of the overall trend. And if we see the overall trend here, we are coming back down. This could be if we're going to evaluate in the next couple of days here on a weekly time frame for you is basically we're going to see are we in the accumulation phase of the Dow theory. If we are in the accumulation phase of the Dow theory, then we're going to go into the distribution phase, which is going to create again another higher peak and hopefully get us back into the 70,000 range. But if we are going to do a continuation and getting rejected at this 20 MA line, then it is still in the distribution phase that we are coming back down. So it's going to be a repetitive with the Dow theory itself. So we're going to be able to see this in the next couple of weeks, where the price is going to, where is it going to react? And already we can see that the Bollinger Bands are expanding. So price is going to move fairly quickly here. However, when we take a look at our RSI, 
spam already considered to be overbought and the actual um, candlestick bodies itself is quite small so i don't think price is going to move here um you know it's not going to break out on the upside i feel like price is only going to do a consolidation and move sideways until we can actually get a some type of breakout either an uptrend or confirm that we're still going into a downtrend for bitcoin so that's my update here for you guys for bitcoin thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time